Strangely enough, the easiest time to find footprints is actually in the afternoon when the sun is just a bit above the actual cliff line and it casts shadows across. I think it was about three in the afternoon, probably around January where I found those first footprints that I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. It took me about 10 minutes just standing there looking at them going, am I actually seeing this? And I put my hand in it and I'm like, yep, wow, I couldn't believe it, footprints. Until a year ago, we had two. There's probably on the order now of 100 footprints that have been found by her. We've been walking over the same area for more than 30 years and nobody else had the eye that she does. Well, there's another one here. And this one's absolutely fantastic. It's so deep. So this would have been, I guess, a, a wet slop that they would have trod across. But yeah, there's another one in here, another middle toe there. I look for something which stands out, which doesn't belong basically in, in the actual texture of the layer. And footprints like, you know, this one, this is a classic example. It just, it doesn't really match what else is going on here. The big footprint I discovered totally randomly while I was just walking around in a, on an afternoon. And all I saw was these rough, irregular patches on the rock. And I knew straight up from the actual pattern of it that it was a footprint. But it was unbelievable. You know, I've wanted to find great big teeth for a long time and well, that's evidence that they were here.